orbital pattern locked in. Watch your flaring. Can't imagine living on the fringes like this. I think I'll stick to the comforts of New Atlantis. The Free Star Rangers. You have no idea how happy I am to see you. I'm Ranger Emma Wilcox. My deputy and I are here to help. Now, tell us what happened. I was out planting in the fields when I saw some men approaching. They looked like soldiers with uniforms and weapons and such. They wanted to buy the farm. Didn't even ask if it was for sale. Their offer was so low, I told them right where they could stick it. They said they'd give me time to think about it, but if I didn't change my mind, I was gonna regret it. Then they left. Well, they sure as hell look like fighting men to me. Go see for yourself. They headed into the canyons back behind the house. That place is dangerous. Steep slopes, narrow trails, rock slides, and all manner of hostile creatures, too. If you're going after those men, be careful. Oh, there's one other thing. They said they were the first. First of what, I'm not sure. But there must be more of them coming. Thank you, ma'am. That should be enough for us to find these men. All right, deputy. Keep that weapon handy and your eyes sharp. Since these guys don't know we're after them, they're probably not making an effort to hide their tracks. Now, let's go and check out those canyons. Boot tracks. Several pairs by the look. Not too old either. Let's head down into the canyon and see if we can find more. Try it out. I like it. Nice change of pace from Aquila City. <clears throat> another time. Good eye, deputy. Looks like we're heading in the right direction.
You better check your ammunition supply. It's clear that we're not the only things roaming these canyons. Let's just hope they're not perched up on these canyon walls, waiting to snipe at us. Hmm. Nice to get out under the sky. Natural tracker. You smell that? I'd bet my badge that's wood smoke from a campfire. They're close. Be ready. We should be careful. This bottleneck is the perfect place for an ambush.
We're gonna have some fun. Well now, look who's here. Ms. Wagner called in the cavalry. <laughs> Except it ain't much of a cavalry. I suggest you turn around and walk away while you still can. Normally, I'd suggest you choose your words carefully so we could avoid bloodshed. But something tells me that isn't going to be possible. Oh, it ain't exactly the farm that's special. But that ain't none of your business. That's none of your damn business. You think you're in a position to make demands. Well, I've got news for you. All you're getting from me is a shallow grave. So, got any last words I should try to remember? That was a lot rougher than I expected. Let's talk. Find anything interesting? Let's see what we have here. Hmm, interesting. So, their ship was stolen from the Hope Tech factory. Whoever pulled that off must have been one hell of a shipjacker. Well, I guess someone really wants that farm bad. Speaking of which, let's get back there and let Miss Wagner know that she's safe. For now.
What's the news? What happened? Did you find those men? Well, it's good to see you're all right, then. They must have been crazy or desperate, trying to take on the Freestar Rangers. So who were they? And why do they want my farm? They say the Rangers always get their man, so to speak. I'm sure you'll figure it out. I can't thank you enough. I'd hate to be remembered as the wagoner who couldn't hold on to the farm that's been in the family for so long. Of course. All the same, I'm grateful. If you have any more trouble, give us a call. We're in system, so it won't take long to get someone out here. All right, Deputy. Let's get back to the rock. We need to report this to the Marshal. in the settled Bye. systems. Well, nicely done.
Might be hard work, but... The story on Montero Luna. That call we got from Wagoner Farm turned out to be a little more interesting than I was expecting. Some men were trying to run the Wagoners off the land. They tried to buy it first, but when that didn't work, they turned to threats. We confronted them, and unfortunately, it came to violence. None of them survived. You helped someone in need and came back alive. That's a job well done. I agree. Until we see the whole picture, we won't know if Miss Wagner is truly safe. What did you make of these men who were trying to take the farm? I had a feeling you were no stranger to combat. Good thing, too, given the turn of events. You can take the soldier out of the war, but you can't take the war out of the soldier. You carry that experience with you forever. Now, did you find anything that might give us a lead on why these men wanted the farm? Oak Tech ships ain't exactly cheap. That thief could probably tell us a lot about these men you ran into. There's something else. They were dressed in Freestar Militia uniforms. The unit badge was yellow on black with the number one. Didn't you fight in the Colony War, Marshal? That sound familiar at all? The 1st Cavalry. I was in that unit for a while. But it was disbanded decades ago. After the Battle of Nera. What was left of it anyway. The 1st Cavalry lost almost all their mechs and soldiers in a big push to take the United Colony's base. They were just about there when a ceasefire order came down. Both sides had just lost too much by then. It was a bloodbath. The commanding officer of the first disobeyed the order. He didn't want the lives of his soldiers to be sacrificed for nothing. And he court-martialed him and the rest of the surviving officers and locked them all up. No, it doesn't. Just raises more questions. It's a good bet that Starship Thief can help us get some answers. The Hope Tech factory is in Hope Town on Polvo. Nia Kalu's our ranger stationed out there. She can introduce you to Ron Hope, the president of Hope Tech. He might be able to help you find the thief. Just make sure you stay on his good side. He's on the Council of Governors, and they're the ones we answer to. Proud, stubborn, and smart. A self-made man. He built Hope Tech through blood, sweat, and sheer willpower. The ruling body that oversees the Free Star Collective and the Rangers. The council members are the political and corporate elite of the Free Star Collective, so we have to tread lightly when we're dealing with them. Good. The last thing I need is the council breathing down my neck. This is your assignment now, Deputy. Work with the other Rangers. Find out what you can about those men on Montero Luna. 
Meantime, I'll look into a possible connection with the 1st Cavalry. Good hunting. 